Oh god, it's Tango Drop Sango in here and in this video it's going to be another main line I've been with in Minecraft. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologise if my voice sounds a bit weird. I've COVID at the moment and I've got a bit of a sore throat so it's made my voice a bit quaky. So if <coughs> if you hear any like cranky voices in the video, that's fine because because I've just I've got COVID. It's just a cold, but I did test positive, so yeah, I well, have COVID. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, in this video, it's gonna be my green creation of the M11 Mount Wayne Minecraft, which is a Mount Wayne in the UK, one from London, so I uh, go and interchange just north of Cambridge in Cambridgeshire. This Mount Wayne is actually my local Mount Wayne. I actually live like round like the Ipswich area and in that area there isn't any mount lines anywhere near that and the M11 is like my closest mount line from here in without all the M25 I think it's the M25 but I think the M11 is my closest like my line. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the flying. Let's start here at the uh, North Circular Road in London. This is where the M11 starts at Junction 4. The wings and line, it starts at Junction 4 rather than Junction 1, Junctions 1, 2 and 3 actually don't exist and uh, then Junctions were actually planned as part of the London Wing Wings project which was a project where they were going to build loads of mount wings around London but most of it all got cancelled which meant the extension of the M11 down to Junction 1 didn't happen so now because of that it starts at Junction 4 instead of Junction 1 it's like that with the M62 I did before that starts at Junction 4, but Junctions 1, 2 and 3 don't exist because uh, cause of an extension that was cancelled. That junction we just passed there was Junction 5, and that was for the A116 and Lounge. <laughs> this junk where gum holes here now is the biggest in a change on this mount line. And that is Junction 6, where it meets up with the M25. And I've already done a video of the M25, so if you haven't seen it already, go and check that out. It's really cool. I'm well pleased with that. My wing creation of that main wing. And that is for the M1, the M20 and the M23. And for Watford Heathrow and Gatwick Airport. This main wing is also a big main wing for getting to Stansted Airport. 
because if you're travelling to Stansted Airport from London, you'll need to take this main way as well. This junction is Junction 7, and that is for the A414 for Hollow and Chelmsford. Well, mainly for Chelmsford if you're heading south. This junction is Junction 7A. Now, this is a new junction to the M11. I think it only opened, like, a couple of years ago, or even last year. I think it actually opened last year, and, uh, so, yeah, it's quite a new junction to the M11. I actually built this main lane before, but it was way before they built this junction. So, yeah, I well, decided to rebuild the main lane uh, now that this new junction's in. And, yeah, well, I actually didn't do a video of it before, but here you well, are, this is the video I'm posting today. Anyway, that junction is for the A1025 and it's for Hallow and uh, Holtford. This junction is a bit of a major junction. This is where it meets the A120. Now, this junction is junction 8, and that is for the A120 West. And uh, it's for Bishop Stortford and services. And then this junction is junction 8A. That's the A120 East, and that's the Stansted Airport and Colchester. So that's the junction you take for getting to Stansted Airport. And it's quite a big junction, actually, because there's two junctions, but the second junction is, like, crammed in with the one junction so as you can see things swing flying and slip points here or junction A but uh, buildings turn really long slip points because they won't cram in with junction A and then swing flying and slip points and yeah, the reason why things are so long is that they link this big one's bank here with the motorway. And I had to build like a bridge over the A120 to build this slip point here. So it's a bit of a massive, complicated junction going on, but uh, you'll see what I mean if you look this up on the map. So let's go on with the next flyover now. So let's go on to the next flyover now. There's only a couple of flyovers in this video, as it isn't a fairly long route way again. It, it's a pretty short one, but it's still a bit of a long one at the same time. It's kind of like a normal length moment away. This junction just passed here was junction 9 and that is the A11 and that is the Newmarket and Norwich. I actually have built the A11 in Minecraft a couple of years ago before but I didn't end up finishing it. I think I built it for Norwich to find Wayne's Wayne's Bell in Mendenhall. 
and I'm not building the I'm Alive and I'll go on the link the I'm Alive and not with the I'm Alive and so I'm gonna do that soon so then everything's all linked up. This junction is Junction 10, and that's the I'm falling by falling, and that's for Winston and Duxford. And just down to the left is actually Duxford Airfield. You can sing it right next to the M11. Now we're on the uh, Cambridge Bond Pulse now, and this makes up of a sort of like wing wand. As one's Cambridge, there's actually a box of wing John Coward wings. One's the M11 right here, and then one's the A14, and then one's the A11, and they make up of a big box. Around Cambridge. This junction is junction 11, and that is, uh, that's the A10, and that's the Cambridge South, Holston, and Winston. If you're heading southbound, you can get to Winston via that way. This junction is Junction 12, and that's the A603, and that's the Cambridge and Sandy. I uh, actually live uh, like near this area, still like an hour away, but still quite near, so I like knowing the ones a lot more of this moment mine uh, than the other ones I built in the past. This junction is junction 13 and that's the A1303 and the A428 and that's the Cambridge and Bedford. And then this junction coming up is the final junction of the M11. After this junction, it's then the M14. So this junction is junction 14, and that's, yeah, that's the M14 one, and along here, and that's the new market in England, rather the M10. And now after this junction here, it then turns into the A4E. So this part is no longer a motorway, it's now the A4E. But I built it up to go to an interchange, so that it's fully linked up with the A4E. Because I've actually built the A4E, I've actually done a video of it. So if you haven't seen it already, go and check it out. So yeah, that's going to be it with the flyover of the videos now. I'm now going to post you over on to the drawing thing video, which will be a full drawing through of the entire motorway. So I'll post you over to that now, and I hope you enjoy it.
gonna be it for today's video. It only took me about a week to build this bank wing because it isn't fairly long again, so yeah. That's one of these videos going to come up so quick. Anyway, there isn't much to say from here. I don't want my wing on because I'm actually really happy with the following result. I'm, I actually couldn't want this junction as well, even though it looks absolutely massive and it just looks weird to have like trying to cram in those slip planes along with junction 8 over there. So yeah, I don't like it like I'm doing because yeah, it did take me a week to build and it was still worth it to uh, see the finished main line. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, there's going to be more main line videos coming in the future because I'm now building every main line in the UK until I've built every single one. So I'm going to like constantly keep building main lines. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and it is also New Year's Eve tomorrow, so in the next video, it's going to be 2024, so as I'm not going to be posting then, uh, Happy New Year to all of you and everyone. I hope you've had an amazing year. I can't believe how far this year it's gone. It's crazy. Christmas is over now. It's just insane. Yeah, anyways, hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video in 2024. Bye!